Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons & Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics. You should defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarson Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Azure Wolf, Train Rex, and Longfish. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is the third encounter on the Mountain of a White Dragon, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. 139 out of 139 hit points, plus one short bow in hand, plus one arrows in the quiver, instrument of the bards on my back. 112 out of 112 on the hit points. Four charges remaining on the wand of magic missiles. Four first level slots, two second level slot, two third level slots, one fourth level slot, two fifth level slots, one sixth level slot. 121 hit points left on the fighter, plus two great axe. Along 19 hit points, holding the staff of python and shield plus two. I have four level one, one level two, three level three, two level four, two level five, and one level seven spell slots. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter has two frost giants and five saber-toothed tigers. Saber-toothed tigers can pounce, so if they move 20 feet in a straight line towards a creature and then hit the creature with a claw attack, they can try to knock it prone. It's a DC 14 strength save versus prone. If it's prone, then the tiger can make a bite attack as a bonus action. Frost giants are pretty straightforward. They have patrick armor, which is not very good. They have immunity to cold. They have a passive perception of 13. They can throw rocks at you, or they can hit you with two great axes. Terrain. The terrain for this map has large chasms that you can fall down. The chasms are 120 foot drop. It is a DC 17 athletics check to climb back up the icy sides. When you get to the bottom, you might be there for a while. A couple of pieces of trees for difficult terrain, things to hide behind, some impassable terrain in the back where the cliffs are. Tactics, what do you guys think for tactics in this fight? Don't group up, rocks fall, party dies. Mm -hmm. Either stay out of that 20 foot range of those beasts or get right up in their face. Uh, you're definitely going to want to get up there. Yep. Uh, it's going to come down to initiative, I think, whether we can get an AoE off or not. Pretty straightforward then. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, eh, it's okay. Anybody up higher than a 20? Rogue has a 22. Who's got between a 20 and a 15? 17, wizard. Who's got between a 15 and a 10? 14, fighter. Who's got between a 10 and a 5? 7 on the giants. 2 on the clerk. Rogue, you're going to kick us off. We now have an interesting question that we should have solved before we ask this. For the purposes of use magic device, my spellcasting ability and spell save DC are? This isn't stated anywhere in UMD either. Yeah, it depends on the thing. What are you trying to cast? Entangle. It's one of the bard abilities. Yeah, so it'd be charisma based? Exactly. DC 16. Okay. It's a 90 foot range. I'm going to move up to the edge of the tree. Yeah, so we'll drop an entangle on the top left. 20 foot square. DC 16 strength save. Front cat is going to fail. The giant is going to fail. Wow. I just rolled three fours in a row. Back cat is also going to fail. Okay. A creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by entangling plants until the end of the spell. A creature restrained by the plants can use its strength check against my spell save DC. On a success, it frees itself and it uses its action to do that. And it is difficult terrain. Correct. Bonus action hide. After the blind oracle, we go to the Asia Wolf. Well, I don't want to be outdone by the rogue here. Uh, you have fireball. We're good. <laughs> A hypnotic pattern, which is a 30-foot cube, and we're going to try to get that other half of the mob. And you are going to need to make a wisdom DC 18, please, or a blinding, glittering, flashy light is going to confuse you. It's going to end cap you. It's not trip fours, so that's helpful. Trip ones, right? First saber tooth tiger <laughs> fails, the giant passes with a 19, and the other cat also fails. So we'd like to move south, please. I think it's difficult for terrain, right? After the Asia Wolf is the train wrecks. I'm going to move east as close as I can get, which is about 30 feet. That should still keep me out of that 20 foot leap range, correct? Very much so. Cool. If I prepare an action now, do I have to use it at the beginning of the next turn or can I just keep moving and then use it? When you're ready an action, you use your action, then it allows you to spend your reaction to do that thing. However, you have to have a condition that your character could observe as the triggering event. So for example, if an enemy comes within five feet of me, I'm going to attack them with my axe. 
So you have a condition if an enemy comes within five feet, the result, which is I'm going to attack them with my axe. There's a couple of other special rules for spells, but that's not going to matter here. Cool. Other than I would definitely like to prepare an action in case one of those beasts manages to get within five feet of me. And that action is to attack, I assume. Yes, with my great axe. After the train, we're going to go to the monster's turn. Creature restrained by the plants can use a strength check versus DC 16. Uses the action to break free. Sabretooth Cat is going to use its action to help the giant on its strength check, which is an ability check it can help out with. The giant is going to make this with advantage. The giant's going to get a 16 on the die, plus the giant's strength is 24, so it's going to be free. Now it has a movement speed of 40, but this is difficult terrain, so it's going to go only four squares. But the other cat is going to try to break free on its own. He's going to fail to do so. He's still restrained. This cat is incapacitated. Do I get to save against this at the end of the turn? Nope. This giant is not incapacitated, so it's going to move. He's just going to dash to there. Go ahead and hit me. And that one on the dice. <laughs> well, use up your reaction. This cat is going to leap. He's going to jump to here. Then he's going to jump there. And then he's going to make his way over there. After that, we're going to go to Longfish. You're up. Move me diagonally two squares away from the wolf. I'm going to use my action to throw my staff on the ground and create that giant constrictor snake. The snake gets its own initiative. Roll it up. 15. On your turn, you can mentally command the snake if it's within 60 feet of you and you are not incapacitated. Decide what action the snake takes and where it moves during its next turn, or you can issue a general command such as to attack your enemies or guard a location. My command is the snake will attack the wolf. Sounds good. Bonus action, chuck a level 3 spiritual weapon next to the fighter. Spiritual weapon does not upgrade at level 3. Level 2 then. 27 to hit for 11 points of damage. After the long fish, we go to the top of the order, which is the blind oracle. Pop out, shoot the giant in front of the fighter. 28 to hit. 28 hits. 46 points of damage. Bonus action, hide. After that, we're going to go to the Asia Wolf. Pop out and shoot a magic missile using three charges on the wand at that giant in front of the fighter. That's a four on the dice. Four on the die, plus one is five, plus five is ten. Ten times five is fifty. It'll take fifty points of damage. And hop back in the bush. After that, we're <laughs> going to go to the train wrecks. Going to attack the big guy in front of me. Nat 20. That'll definitely hit. 27 points of damage. Second attack, 26 to hit. Hits re-roll that because that's a one on the damage die 13 that's lethal oh sweet cool third attack you want to advance and attack this guy sure uh, my third attack i rolled a 22 to hit hits 16 damage as end my turn after that we're going to go to my turn the giant is going to try to shove you off the edge oh no so it's going to move here to angle itself properly go ahead and give me acrobatics or athletics whichever you prefer i think you're better with athletics 20 total. He's got plus 9 to this. He gets a 20 also. If we're tied, then the status quo remains. That is not successful for the giant. It's going to do it again. Go ahead and roll a second one. Also 20. He's going to get a 12 on his second attempt, so he's going to fail. The tiger is going to try to break free as an action. He's going to get a 15 on the die. That fails. Plus 4 is a 19. So that succeeds. Yeah. That's his whole action. But he has his whole movement left, so he's going to move through his comrade here. The other one is going to try to break free. He's going to get an 18 on the die, plus 4 is 22. He'll run to there. Two incapacitated tigers don't do anything. That's my turn. After that, we go to the snake. Snake is going to try to constrict the wolf. 18 to hit. 18 hits. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. The target is grappled. Until this grapple ends, the creature is restrained and the snake can't restrain another target. After the snake, we go to the longfish. I am going to action, draw the hammer, and run up there to beat the wolf. 22 to hit. Hits. For 4 damage. Bonus action, move the spiritual weapon towards the giant. And then I'll hit the wolf next to it. 17 to hit. 17 hits. 8 damage. Top of the order, blind oracle. Don't mess with a good plan. Pop out. Can I see the giant? Yep. Is he getting cover from the tiger? No, the giant does not get cover from the tiger. He's too big. Shoot the giant. Big boy. 29 to hit. 29 hits. For 39 points of damage. Step back behind my tree and hide again. After that, we're going to go to the Asia Wolf. Pull out a squirrel and fireball and drop it on that guy. Sculpting around the fighter. Tell me about it. DC 18 dex. 30 total. First Sabertooth Tiger fails. Second Sabertooth Tiger fails. Giant fails. Anything else? No, I think we're in a good position. After the Asia Wolf, we go to the train wrecks. Going to attack with the Great Axe again. 28. 28 hits. Oh, that was a one on the dice, so re-rolling. 17 damage. 
Again, 28 on the dice. Hits. 19 damage. Last attack. Oof. 14 to hit. 14's a miss. You good there? Yeah, that's the end of turn. After the train, we go to Tigers. Tiger in front is going to get the help action for the giant, for the giant to do whatever the giant wants to do. The giant's going to do what the giant wants to do, which is push the fighter off the cliff. Fighter, give me a acrobatics or athletics roll to resist it. 24. Well, I got an 11, uh, but a good thing is I have advantage, so I'm going to roll another die and also get an 11. Giant's going to try it again. Go ahead and give me another athletics. Uh, 15. It's going to get a 21. No. So you're going to get pushed. Take 42 points of falling damage as you fall 120 feet. Still conscious? Yeah. After that, we're going to go to the next tiger which is this guy here. He's just gonna dash and wind up over there. Wolf trying to bite the snake. Wolf is gonna get a nine to hit the snake. That will not hit. After that, we're gonna go to the snake. Bite, since it's already restrained. 15 to hit. 15 hits. 14 damage. After that, we're gonna go to the long fish. Action hitting the wolf with a sacred flame. Dex, 18. Wolf fails. 21 damage. Bonus action, keep hitting the wolf with the uh, spiritual weapon. 25 to hit. Hits. 7 damage. After the long fish, blind oracle. That's much closer to me than I want that particular critter to be. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop out and shoot the tiger next to me. You got it. 24 to hit. 24 hits. For 35 points of damage. Lethal. Bonus action, hide. (laughs) If it ain't broke. No, that's the turn. Asia Wolf. Since he's still standing there, let's do the same thing. Fireball with a scroll. DC 18 dex. 28. Wolf fails with the nat 1. That's lethal for the wolf. Giant gets a 15 to fail. Lethal for the giant. Nice. That's it for me. Train's at the bottom of the gorge. What do you do? I'm gonna try to climb back up. I said that's an athletics check. DC 17 athletics check, yeah. Oh yeah, 29. So you're going to make it 15 feet of the first move, 15 feet of the second move. You're 30 feet up to, out of the 120 that you need. After that is the tigers. Two of them are in cap. One of them is going to try to bite a snake. 11 to hit a snake. Oh, no. After that, we go to snake. Snake is going to bite. 8 plus 6, 14 to hit. Hits. 7 plus 4, 11 damage. Dead. Long fish up. Move myself five spaces closer to the northern wolf. I'm going to command the snake to move towards me. Bonus action, move the spiritual weapon 20 feet towards the northern wolf. What's your action action? Dodge. After the long fish, we go to the blind oracle. Would a rope help the fighter climb in any way, shape, or form? Yes. A rope is a DC 10 climb check if it is unknotted, but it's a full 50 feet. And if it's a knotted rope, it's only 40 feet because the knots take up distance. There's no check to climb a knotted rope. A knotted rope cannot be pulled up because the knots will run up against things. Unknotted rope can be pulled up by the person at the top. Bonus action, dash to get to the southwest of the fighter. Action, rope. Use item, toss a rope down to the fighter. Fighter is 90 feet down. Fighter will have to climb for another 40 feet to get to the bottom of the rope. God, you know what? Let's just solve this. Instead of using rope, let's use the bard's instrument to grant fly on the fighter. What's the range of that? Ooh, is it touch? Touch a willing creature. Nope, can't do that. I can do nothing for the fighter. That sucks. I appreciate the effort. Tie the rope off and that's my turn. After the blind oracle is the Asia Wolf. Focus fire the north one there with fire bolt and we're gonna break it. 17. Hit. 15 fire. Then it is no longer incapacitated. After the Asia Wolf is a train. Uh, keep trying to climb. How many feet to the rope? 40 more feet before you get to the rope. All right. Oh, 14. 14, you make no progress. After that, we go to the tigers. This tiger is going to charge the rogue. Dash to there. After that, we're going to go to the other tiger's incapacitated snake. Snake is going to go grapple the tiger. Rolling to hit. 24 to hit. 24 hits. 9 damage, but it's restrained. Take longfish. Hit the wolf with my warhammer. 22 to hit. Hits. 5 damage. Move the spiritual weapon towards the wolf. 22 to hit. Hits. 11 damage. After that, we're going to go to the Blind Oracle. Disengage bonus action. I would like to go to the northwest and then shoot the tiger. Ooh, hey, Halfling Luck kicks in. Doesn't help me a second time, though. Ouch. Nat 1 did to a Nat 1. Yeah. After that, we're going to go to the Asia Wolf. Pop out, shoot, Firebolt, 22 on the die. Hits. 8. After that, we go to the train. Roll it up. 23. So you've made it 60 feet up now. 10 feet to the end of the rope. That was the train. Now it's the tiger. Tiger is restrained. It's going to fight the snake. 10 to hit the snake. Miss. Other one's incapacitated snake. 12 to hit. Yep. For 8 damage. 8 damage lethal. Longfish. Move me 5 spaces towards the other incapped. Throw a sacred flame at it. Dex 18. Passes. Never mind. Bonus action, move the hammer next to me. Blind oracle. 
my in range to just shoot it from here. Yep. Cool. Step back into the tree to hide and then shoot. 29 to hit. Hits. For 42 points of damage. Azure Wolf, Firebolt, 14. Hits. 17. 17 is lethal. Report hit points. 139 out of 139. 112. 79. 119. Anybody have any end of encounter actions they wish to take? Second wind. Rolled up. That's a one on that die. One plus 13 is 14. Anybody else have any end of encounter actions? Retrieve the one arrow that did not connect. Got it. Retrieve the fighter. Yep. Another encounter down and another layer of the mountain conquered. The adventurers are going to make their way even further up to find the dragon at the top. Three encounters down, three more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I will see you next time.